it's Jake from Five Paranormal, and for the first episode of Five Files Season 3, I'm in a place that I never really thought I would ever investigate. So I'm actually at a haunted radio station. Yes, you heard that correctly. There have been reports of weird shadow figures, voices, footsteps, doors opening and closing from this radio station. So I'm here today to try and see what I can find. I've already had a few strange things happen, and I'm going to queue up the spear box here in a little bit. We're going to see what happens. So, yeah, radio station, kind of different. I'm here getting all my stuff set up, and I saw somebody in that window. Just peek real quick. There is nobody else here, but very quickly I saw somebody peek in the window as if they were looking to see what I was doing. All right, so this is going to be the very first spirit box session. Let's see how it goes. Hello, is anyone here with me today? My name's Jake. And I would like to communicate with any spirits that might be hanging around this radio station. If there is, is anybody here that can hear me, can you please say hello? I don't know why, but I feel like someone is watching me from out over there. That's, that's just what it feels like. I know no one's there, but that's just what it feels like. Who's watching me from the control room? I've had a lot of people say that they've heard voices and they've seen people walking around. Can any of those people say hello? Get here in a little bit, and I'll probably move somewhere else and try again. But before I do that, is there anything you have to say? All right, well, thank you for your time. Well, it kind of sucks that it wasn't that active, but sometimes with the first sessions, that happens. Like I said, I am feeling like something's watching me from out there that's just that's just what it feels like so hopefully this next session will be active but we'll have to wait and see So one of the claims is that people walking up and down this hallway as they're going they'll catch something out of the corner of their eye standing in that corner way back there and that's something i've been here a few times myself you know it's sometimes with hallways you know when you're walking you're walking you can't kind of trick yourself into thinking there is something there especially when you're here by yourself um, people have also reported hearing voices coming from the kitchen which they always leave the radio on um, sometimes they've heard the radio volume turn up and down by itself which is very very strange but there was one night when i was here and turn the camera around there was one night i was here by myself it was loads of fun but i actually saw someone i was in this studio here where my fingers here and i saw somebody walk by the window and i didn't know anyone else i didn't think anyone else was here so opened the door looked out and i saw a person walk around the corner as if they were going to the back rooms. A few minutes later, I heard one of these doors back here slam. So that's one of the things that kind of, you know, gave me the idea to head over here and investigate. But after talking with some people that work here and some people who have volunteered here, they told me a lot of very creepy stuff. So I'm very excited to see what I get and hopefully uh, I can confirm some of their claims.
another fun paranormal claim, and this came from my boss, told me that when you're walking by this door, sometimes you can see someone standing behind you, but when you turn to look, there's obviously no one there. So, sounds like something out of a movie, and you know, it probably is something like that, but there is something kind of unnerving about this hallway. You know, you have the one light and the others don't work, so you have this darkness. You know, you have light, dark, light, and it's, it is kind of unnerving, very unnerving. I think there's definitely something here that's intelligent and it's aware of what I'm trying to do. So hopefully we can make contact with it. Hello, is there anyone here in this room with me today? My name's Jake and I'd like to speak to any spirits that might be hanging around. Can you say hello? I keep getting the feeling that I'm being watched. Who's watching me? Did anyone die in this building? No. That was a male voice. It sounded like it said the other one. Are you talking about the pharmacy next door? Did someone die there? Do you like me being here? Are you scared? Do you want me to turn off the spirit box? I heard something underneath. I'm gonna sound like another voice said yes, please. If you want me to turn off the spirit box, all you have to do is say yes, loud and clear so I can hear you. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pack this up. I appreciate any and everyone who attempted to communicate with me and who did communicate with me today. I think I got a few good voices. Can you say goodbye? radio okay goodbye y'all have a good one all right so that was a better spirit box session um got two voices sounded kind of cool um the thing about this place is because i am in a radio station there are going to be a lot of radio bleed throughs and that's something as i'm reviewing the audio of this i'm gonna have to be very mindful of um i didn't feel as watched you know, during this session as I did in the other one. I think when I did the spirit box for the first time, I think they were kind of curious as to, um, you know, what I was doing. They've probably never seen anything like that before. Um, the one voice that, you know, kind of hinted that, you know, someone died in the pharmacy next door. I mean, that's kind of creepy, uh, especially since that place does have kind of a weird vibe at night. Well, most places have a weird vibe at night. But, and it is a pharmacy. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to do some digging on that, see what I can find. So I was finishing up my uh, B-roll, which is usually one of the last things that I shoot as I'm leaving a location, um, or actually it was my wrap-up B-roll, but I'm walking through here because I want to get a shot of this, because people have been reporting, um, seeing figures standing in the back and all that stuff, and as I'm standing here doing you know, this number, I saw someone standing right down there, so I turned 
And as I turned, I saw somebody with a blue shirt, blue jeans, and blonde hair turn and go left real quick. So it was really freaking creepy because as you go down through here, there's really nowhere else to go. And I didn't hear any doors open or anything. And for some reason, my camera is having issues focusing, which I've, I've experienced it a few times at haunted locations, but it's... It's just a little creepy. And I do have that feeling again that I'm being watched. Um, and this back hallway makes everyone feel uncomfortable. It's not just me that says that, but yeah. If I was doing an overnight here, I would definitely have an infrared camera, you know, just queued up and watching this hallway. Cause that's, it's very creepy. And I can't believe after the spirit box sessions I've done, they really don't want to talk, but they're brazen enough, you know, to just stand right in the middle where I can see them. Yeah, really creepy. So that wraps up the first episode of season three of the Five Files Investigation series. I hope you all have enjoyed it. I mean, I had a good time being able to investigate a radio station. Had a few weird things happen. That was kind of cool. Um, got a few really good voices, so I can't wait to go home, clean up the audio. Um, hopefully I'll be able to, you know, clean up some of those voices because there was a few that they were like right on the line of really good responses. But I just want to make sure before I put anything out. Second episode of the season should be out here soon. I'm actually working on the finishing touches of it, but I hope you all have enjoyed it. Leave a comment if you did. Leave a like as always, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. But I'm Jake from Fife Paranormal. Have a great day, everyone.